about the two-tone, uh, it's a little harsh with the sun uh, right now. We're going next to Woodley Park uh, over in Van Nuys. It is the Queen's English Car Show uh, that was probably, what, 150, 200 cars in supercar? Yeah, couple probably cars. correct. Okay, there was a couple hundred cars at Supercar. There's probably going to be a thousand cars at uh, at the Queen's English Car Show, which kind of blows my mind that there's that many old classic English cars still driving. That's that's good, but you know what I'm curious? I've never been to this show, Tim. Do they really have a tea and crumpets booth there? As far as I know, crumpet is always spelled with a T. So nobody buys more than one crumpet? No. Oh. Yeah, it would be a crump A. Or a group of crump eyes. I'm not really sure how that would work. But. Boy, you know, my <laughs> my conjugation of English nouns is difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Among many other things. There's many things that I'm inexpert at. <laughs> to the other end of Woodley. Right. We're now officially lost, even though we have ways. And we just passed Woodley, but we're on the wrong side of the freeway. Always fun to explore. Well, Tim, I've found that getting too involved in conversation while you're driving will sometimes cause you to miss the exit. Woodley Queen's English show. We're looking for turquoise cars. Oh, isn't that one over there? That was really good acting. That's pretty turquoise. That's pretty close. a 69 Mini Cooper classic Mini and uh, he's putting the thing together and he's trying to uh, steal some ideas. Pretty smart in the Mini section of this show. All these Minis over here. Uh, Bob Amaral, you'll be happy to know. We're hanging out with the Minis in the English car section. Um, we're just not seeing any new Minis because those aren't technically English. But these classics are pretty fab. Very nice. that car makes the car look like a Hot Wheels. <laughs> it's 
tucked out here, way out in the corner, is a little tiny Triumph Sport 6. Uh, very rare, don't see these things. But as I pull away further and further, you'll notice there's nothing around it. It's all by itself, as far as the eye can see. Poor little car. Mm -hmm. I can see you driving that. I can too. It even has race tires on it. <laughs> This car. I found out that the gunner and the driver both are looking out through mirrors so that their heads are below the line of fire. So it's drive by mirror? It's drive by mirror. That's a little scary. Well, the driver's seat is down so far in the vehicle mm -hmm. that if he looked straight ahead, he'd be looking into the back side of a three-quarter inch plate of steel. Oh, that's, that's a plus. So he needs to be able to see out and when people are shooting at him, mm -hmm. they might knock out his mirror, maybe. Yeah, like driving in South Central or something. Maybe in some part of the world that's undergoing some unrest at the moment. Yes, true. But there is no badge that tells us what it is. That was a good show. I thought it was an excellent show. Uh, two good shows. Two good shows. What was your uh, your coupe de gras, the best car for you? The best car for me of the whole thing? Yeah, both shows. Still leaning towards the 34 Buick with the eight cylinder, yeah. the straight eight. That's yeah. something that really is exciting to me. Although at the English car show, I love the, the Bentley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was just terrific. Beautiful. And, and yet, the Comer. The Comer van was marvelous. That was my favorite, I think, because it's a an applicable car. Is that not only can you drive it, but you, you can, you can live it. in it. You can live in it. You can see eat pasta. the car hobby need not be expensive. You mm -hmm. can actually li get a vehicle and live in it. Yeah. Yeah, it works well. You know what? Uh, as well as uh, some of the incredible real estate that you handle, you should handle, you know, real estate on wheels. What a terrific idea. Yeah. Uh, Paul is at MalibuRE.com. Check him out. If you need a house, he's the dude. Thank just, you. Just saying.
there kind of a, a blue cast on my face? Right now, Kathy is painting one of the big things that she's built and it's blue. The last one was yellow, this one's blue, and the next one is gonna be nectarine orange. That's the colors they wanted and that's, that's what she's doing. Had a good time today, uh, hanging out with Paul. Always fun. Uh, the guy's just a hoot. Uh, just a hoot. That's what. That's what it is. But in the midst of of doing this, these shenanigans and these shows, um, right before we left, actually, Paul showed up at the door at, with this at about uh, six o'clock this morning. Seven o'clock this morning. Seven o'clock this morning. And uh, I, I don't necessarily know why, but um, uh, he was compelled to make me keeper of the flame. This is really heavy. So you guys want to see what this is? It's what everyone needs. <laughs> you guys ready? You ready to see what it is? How about this? Oh yeah, baby. Look at the size. Uh, I've gotten a, a number of these things over the years and uh, I can't say I've ever gotten one quite this size. It's so big, it's got its own handle in the back. It's a jug of Fireball Whiskey. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. I thought about maybe uh, doing something with this, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna keep it have it on display, uh, uh, you know, for what those times where it's a special occasion, something really interesting to where I can pop the top, take a chug, and have my favorite cinnamon beverage. Hey, thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. I'm gonna put it on my special coffee rack. Most interesting thing about the Fireball whiskey, right there, which is the bag that it came in. I don't understand this because Whole Foods Market is opening in Malibu, but they haven't opened yet. In fact, they haven't even built up their building yet. How did you get this bag? That just tells you that Paul's got connections. All right, that's it, people. Uh, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, I got some drawing to do. I got the Mustang book and the Malibu book coming. I uh, got to get to it. And we will see you on the flip side. But I'm cheating again So long I try to pretend I keep on trying to make a bad boy good If you were good, you know I never would Thinking it's just like hanging out With this inner child Then I go on and say the truth on fire It's gone too far and I just can't go back And we talk in Long I try to pretend